We are all aware that um, steel pan is the authentic West Indian traditional music. I recall that steel band first came to Nevis in 1950. The band was the Hellgate Steel Band out of Antigua and it was here round about Christmas of 1950 and it coincided unfortunately with the time when there was a series of earthquakes. I recall that the steel band, I was in the steel band jamming along Main Street near the courthouse when a big shock came and we all just had to scamper and scatter and that was the end of that jamming. The steel band, it started somewhere in the lower end of town, somewhere towards Craddock Road, and it was jamming coming up towards the, along Main Street. And in those days, the steel pans were slung around the necks of the players. It's not like now where everybody wants to be in a truck and everything else. They actually carried the pans around their necks and they jammed, and people were just jamming behind them and really enjoying themselves. And when the, when the big shock came, everybody scampered, and that was the end of the jamming for that night. What happened subsequently was that the, the idea of steel band music caught on in Nevis. And it caught on to the extent where there was a steel band formed in almost every major village in Nevis. I recall that there were a, at least four different steel pans in Charlestown. And of course the most famous of them, or the one that lasted the longest, was the Rebels. And I am subject to correction, but I think Bam Manners is perhaps the only remaining pan player who started back in that um, early era of the 1950s. There were steel band competitions held annually because then we organized what was then known as the Nevis Christmas Festival. And this preceded the Christmas, the St. Kitts Christmas Carnival. There was no such thing yet. There was no culturama yet and so on, but we had a Nevis Christmas Festival Committee. And um, one of the features was the steel band competition. There were bands, uh, and I, I can't recall the names of all of them, but um, I remember Jungle Heroes out of Bands Gut, um, As You Wink out of Cox Village, Sun Jets, I think it was called, out of Hanley's Road. I know Cotton Ground had a steel band. There were several bands, however. Those were the ones that um, were amongst the leads. So steel band music became the thing on Nevis. In fact, the rebel steel band the, 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 the leaders, as I recall, were Mel Henville and my brother, Calvin Cabo Howell. Um, they were amongst the lead people who, who, who were instrumental in getting this band to, to Canada. The, unfortunately, having gone to Canada, I think a lot of the guys absconded and never came back to Nevis, at least with the band. However, they've had their ups and their downs, and the performance at the NEPAC Center which I'm really looking forward to. I hope we could see what the steel band music was like in those days. Steel band was then the thing. And if you listen to the steel bands out of Trinidad, which was really the home of, of steel band, you could hear really classical music and every type of music. And um, the steel band is still really an art form to be emulated. In an effort to get steel band back into the schools and back on the music scene in Nevis in a big way, there's Junior Paris and there is Trini, I don't remember, I don't know his name really, but and both of them are now involved in teaching music at the schools and I, I look forward to their performances. One of the torch bearers of, um, of pan music and in fact, she is maybe the only woman around who is really involved in pan music, is Janice Nisbet. She plays steel band, she plays solo, she entertains at different functions and so on. And um, she is really a torchbearer for, for the women in music. In fact, I know that the senior citizens group have got with them a steel band, which is almost all women. And so 
slowly but surely steel band music is coming back. 